Hey all, Karen Berniston here, and today I am going to film a quick live video that I am just talking straight to the camera. So if this sounds different than my usual videos, that's why. But I had a request from Karen P. on our Facebook group, the Karen Berniston Pop-Up Peeps. She just got her new woven basket box card and wanted to know if there was any way to make it a little wider. And not ever shying away from a challenge, I said, oh yeah, I'm sure we can do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's the thing about the woven basket. Normally you cut two sides and then you use the tab to attach them. Let's make this double wide so then we need a third piece. And then the third piece, we're just going to find the folds in it and then we're going to cut on those folds. So this third one we want to actually make into two individual panels. And I'll just use my scissors for that, trying to cut right on the line. Maybe a trimmer would be better. I leave it to you. Okay, so these are going to be our extender panels for each one of these. So here's where it just gets a little tricky because of the angle of the basket. You know, when you fold this up, let's just work these folds real quick. They start out at that angle, but then when you fold them up, of course, you know, they end up straight on the bottom, but they have those cool tapered sides. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to inject an extra panel so that we make double wide basket. So to do that, we have to follow the slats in the basket with our extra piece. So what I mean by that is let's just take this bottom corner, set it right next to this corner, and then let's look here and make sure that those slats are going straight through the piece. So we want this straight. Okay, so you can do it by eye. In fact, I'm going to overlap that just a smidge at the bottom so it's not right next to it, but just a little bit overlapping. Okay, and we're going to glue those together. So basically we're going to have a triangle of glue here. We don't want to overlap them too much or else we won't be able to get the weaving strips in. But let's just put glue. Let's show you that. Okay, so close on the edge here, up at the top, and make sure that our panels are straight. And you know what? Hang on, doing this live. Let's figure this out as we go. What if we just took a ruler maybe even to make sure that those are pretty straight? That might be a good idea. Okay. Once you got one done, then that's going to be your guide for the next one because we're just going to lather, rinse, and repeat, right? So we're going to put this one over the top. We're going to add some glue in the triangle area here. And then we're going to line this one up with that one. Ooh, why do those not line up perfectly? Okay, close enough. Close enough is not usually a word I use with pop-ups, but I think it's because this one's sitting over the top of this one. We do want those to be the same, though, so let me move that out a little bit. Live video, y'all. Okay, all right, got it. Okay, so see what we've done now is now we have a six-panel basket. Um, and see, there goes over my there goes my phone. I did remember to turn off my email so we wouldn't hear email dings. But my phone's sitting right here. Okay, so let's just do what we would normally do, which is attach the two halves together. But now what our half is is one panel then two panels, then one panel, then two panels. So that's what our finished basket's gonna look like. Okay, we can weave like normal, so except for you have to cut six sets, right? So with the weaving, you always start with the one that has the two. You know, let's do it on one of these sides where you can see. It should still fit. I am keeping my fingers crossed that we don't have to alter these in any way on the sides that we've overlapped. So that's why you don't want to overlap very much so that you don't get in the way of the weaving because we still need the weaving. Okay, so you start at the, with the bottom, you go under that first slap, sl slap, then over, then under, then over, then the ends end up inside the basket. The only place that you need adhesive is down here. So I just slid it up so I have access to that, slide it down. We're gonna use this little side over here as the lineup. And now this one is the moment of truth as to whether we can get it in. I think we can. Okay, so under, just like normal, so we're doing normals, just that the two, the double wide side is going to have two sets of weaving strips. Over, under, inside the basket, glue at the bottom, and again this time we'll, we'll use this side. To am I on camera? Yes I am. Okay. So see, that's going to overlap just a smidge down there, and that's okay. In fact, I think I'm going to glue that down. 
probably what you're going to do in your finished basket if you're going to do this double wide one is because you have this seam here which isn't too bad but it's enough that maybe this is where if this is the front of the basket maybe this is where you're putting your greeting so that you could put like an oval or a circle or a decorative label or something right here and kind of cover up that diagonal seam that you see going through your basket but it's not too bad okay so then we finish out the weaving on each side by doing from the top with the T piece we go opposite the one below or the one the, yeah and then we go down until this edge sits right on that first cut line okay and then we use adhesive in this top section and glue that down and then you know in the video I show that you can roll this edge for this double wide basket I'm going to suggest that you don't roll it but that you actually just fold it in because they're gonna to have to fold over the top of each other Right here, this one's going to overlap this one a little bit, so you really won't be able to do that cool rolled edge. But you're making double wide baskets, so it's a good trade-off. Okay, so folding over, gluing our excess flap inside the basket. Okay, and then now we're going to do that again right next door. Same exact method, over, under. Um, no, I'm sorry, under, over, under, over. And then some adhesive in here and this is where I'm saying it's going to overlap a little bit with that first one so we're going to use this fold line over here as our lineup spot and let it overlap as much as it needs to over here then we flip it over and then do this okay I am not going to make you watch me do that four more times I'm going to turn off the camera and weave these other four and then I will turn it back on again. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Giant ta-da. That was fast, huh? Okay, so single, double, single, double. So once we attach this thing over here, we're going to have this nifty basket like this. Okay, before we do that, we need to let this basket tell us how long to extend our grass strips. So Usually we just do a single, obviously, in the die set, and that's size to fit a single side of the basket, but now we've got a span across two. So before we fold up the basket, let's just use one double side as our guide for that. Now, if you recall from watching the video, maybe you haven't watched the video yet, you need to watch the video. So if this is your first introduction to the woven basket, go watch the assembly video on it where you learn how to do it with just single sides. But what you do with these is that these will eventually weave in on row number three and that includes the solid row at the top so one two three so inside the basket those are going to weave in on row three okay so we can use row three and make sure that our tab let's fold it so we can see it over here see this tab should be right on that fold line on row number three Okay, actually, let me see if I can make this. I know you guys are going to be watching this on Facebook, and it's going to be little if you're on your phone. Blow it up if you can. Okay, so tab sitting on row number three. Then let's do this one. We're going to use this tab, and this needs to be right on the edge of the basket. So that will show us how much overlap we need to do to glue these together. And since this is inside the basket you don't really have to make it pretty or anything. You're more concerned about making it strong. So like I could cut, well maybe I will, let's make it at least a little sightly, let's cut that tab off because we don't need it and then again we're using this edge of the basket over here to know how long this piece needs to be we're on row three and we attach those two together okay so now we have a long strip of grass that is sized to fit inside the basket we don't have to use the basket for the next one, we just have to use the first one. So let's just line this right up over the top. Okay, on this one we're going to cut off this um, tab on this side so it's a little more sightly. Okay, I'm going to add some glue on this side here. Make sure that this one lines up perfectly with this one. Okay, attach those together. All right, so now we have two nice long grass strips that will fit across our double wide basket. And remember, on the one that goes in the back 
the tabs fold towards the back, and the one that goes in the front, the tabs fold toward, ugh, toward, fold toward the front. Okay, so now we have those ready to go. Let's get our basket ready. That just means attaching the other tab. So strong adhesive in the side tab. And you can close this. Okay. See how good we were. Yeah, it's flat-ish. Let's see if I can get this straight. There we go. Okay, so one thing about a double wide basket is I'm going to show you here. It does fold flat, but like on our single one, both sides will be perfectly over the top of each other. Don't, don't get distracted by that. Look, look what you see. See when it's flat, there's like a little um, tent showing of the double side from one. And then when you turn it around, same thing. So see, it still folds flat. It still makes a straight basket but it's not going to be just perfectly over the top of each side because it's not symmetrical. It's two and then one. That makes sense. So you, you've done it right. If you can fold it flat, you've done it right. Okay, and our grass should fit. So here's the moment of truth. Um, do 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 do. Let's. I mean, I just. I'm just going to assume it fits. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to doubt myself. A little glue on the tabs. The ones that point towards the front go towards the front on row three, and we find the. Um, the little row three woven strip that we can slide those tabs behind. Okay, so I was teaching a woven basket class last week while I'm doing this, and several people, they just had a hard time sliding those in. And I think it's brilliant. Personally, I'm gonna pat myself on the back because, you know, you always get the perfect placement. You can't see the tabs. They're woven in the basket. I, you're gonna get better at it. Maybe you have you know, a hard time getting in there with your fingers to get that in. But trust me, that's really a cool feature. But okay, if you had to, you could just glue them in on row three, but then you have to, you know, make them straight. So um, practice with the tabs because I think the tab thing is kind of cool. All right, so a little glue on these tabs, by the way, that fit perfectly. Thank you, pet pet. Okay, so row three, this time we're going towards the back. Weaving our tabs into the woven strips. Once we get them in there, we can flatten both ways, give it a press, ta-da. Okay, from here, your regular decoration, right? So if you want some more grass pieces that maybe you're going to glue, peeking up from the inside edge, and maybe here on the back edge, I leave it to you from here. I'm not gonna decorate this thing because we dodged a bullet. I have two sleeping dogs, I'll show you a picture. That's Katie and Lucy. They bark all the time, which is why I don't do live videos. And I snuck out of the room to get two T-R-E-A-T's in a Ziploc bag so they couldn't smell them. And this is was my, oh, see, they're already awakening. It's like they know how to spell, too. Okay, I'm going to end this before they bark. Bye. Okay, I lied. I'm back because I forgot to mention envelope size. So obviously I haven't decorated this yet, but I was thinking, okay, this is wide. What kind of envelope could we mail it in? And my first thought was, well, could you just do like a number 10 letter envelope? And you could, but look, you don't have much room for bouquet. So that might be a good choice if you were doing, say, like a little row of animals across here. How cute would that be? Or Easter eggs or something. If you kept them pretty short, you could fit in that. I think that's called a number 10 regular envelope that you mail stuff in. Or maybe go up to a 6 by 9 because then you've got a whole bunch of room for a nice tall bouquet. So you could fit all sorts of things in that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my recorded live video today. And um, have fun making these double wide baskets. I look forward to seeing them. If you are not already a member of the Facebook group, the Karen Berniston Pop-Up Peeps, definitely recommend that you join us. We're a fun group, people posting ideas and cards all the time. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to KarenBerniston.com where you can find out information about purchasing these dies as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.